everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Dale Chanel's 48's World. Let's get on into a story that Celebrity Insider News Blog have called themselves breaking on none other than the OG of the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise, NeNe Leakes. Yes, NeNe Leakes stays working. She stays out in them streets. She stays getting that bag secured, okay? Because she's the only one that's a breadwinner in the house. She done told us that. I don't know how many times she's taking care of Greg, the kids, the grandkids, and everything else out there, okay, that she want to get her hands on, all right? Because she's looking at, hey, Greg going to be getting his retirement check if he ain't already getting it uh, from Social Security. So we need some other type of funds coming up in this camp. So, yes, my bread and butter is Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I'm not fooling myself. I need other revenue streams, okay? Swag is doing what it's doing, but, hey, it still has overhead. I still have to pay people. So, she still have to be out there collecting the bag. And I'm here for it. Go on and get your money while you can because you can't be doing all this once you turn, what, seven years old. Things going to have to start slowing down for you, Nina. You already, what, 50? All right, and they say when you get 50, you got one in the graveyard and one on land, meaning the earth plane, okay? I don't know how true it is because I'm still trying to live life myself, but I understand what they're saying. If you ain't got what you're supposed to be done got in your mind of living, you ain't pretty much going to get it, okay? <laughs> so you either going to keep pressing on that gas and, and trying to run this race to find your billion or millionaire type of lifestyle you wanted when you were in your 20s, or you're going to settle down and sit down somewhere and say, okay, I'm going to have to downsize or I'm going to stay exactly where I am and ride this little journey on out, okay? And that's how I am. I'm going to stay, try to keep what I got, and just live life uh, the simple-minded way, okay? I didn't get my million, and I'm 51, will be 52 next year, God willing. So I'm just going to stay where everything's at a plateau. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just want to keep living keep paying my bills on time and i ain't got to grow i already done said i ain't gonna get into no hundred thousand dollar paycheck every uh year or each year it's gonna have to stay i ain't gonna say i'm broke but i ain't gonna say i'm wealthy either i'm wealthy in my type of uh living space how i see my life as being successful okay so we're just gonna keep it right there all right, giving it to you 100, that's all I can give you on my perspective. Again, this is just my opinion on myself because I know myself. I know my flaws and I know my perfections, okay? And right now, mama tired. Mama trying to get to retirement, okay? I don't ran this race and now I'm just trying to like, okay, uh, I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to get that. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy that. You know, and that's how my life is set up at this point and going forward. I want to live life now. And if that means pen and pension and, you know, getting to see this, that, and the third and waiting on the other things that I should have did when I was in my 20s and 30s, it is what it is. Mama tired. Mama want to get to that retirement. Mama want to enjoy life now. Okay? How simple that is. Everybody's successes and how they view life is totally different. But again, with Nene, Nene said, I got to I gotta continue to secure this bag. I like a certain lifestyle. My boys ain't doing it for me, okay? Grandchildren ain't doing it for me. Greg done did what he could for me. Now, I got to check all boxes and say, okay, if I like this wonderful lifestyle, I'm going to have to continue working, working, and working, okay? There's no slowing down for Miss Nene. I think she's 51, I'm guessing, if she ain't lied about her age, Okay? But she still looks good either way. But the title of uh, this young man, Ron Collins, he's working with Celebrity Insider. He's giving us a little tease of information that he's gotten on the streets. Or he actually interviewed somebody on this story. Hell, Nene could have leaked it herself. All right. But she secured that bag on Hip Hop Squares. You remember Hollywood Squares? Same show, just titled different. She's on that little... Uh, I think it's a reality like game show type of thing. I don't know if she has a contract where she does so many different episodes or she may come um, over to that platform for a week worth of work and then somebody else get chosen because it seems like it's a lot of 
old artists that are not really doing anything, but they want to stay relevant. And that can be like in acting. It could be in, uh, they could be musicians. They could be uh, singing artists, uh, reality stars, TV stars. And they're trying to revamp, revive their career in a sense. Because these, I ain't going to say they has been, but I'm just going to say they seasons individuals that have been in the game for a long time. They're still trying to make ends meet. And this is a show where they can come on and pay, be paid homage to, in a sense. They help people win money. Okay? But let's get on into this feature story that Ron Collins, a journalist or a uh, employee of Celebrity Insider, he wrote up an article on NeNe Leakes and being a part of the hip-hop square starting today. NeNe Leakes will be featured in the new season of hip-hop square starting today. This article is a little bit late. It's on, It was on time when they produced it, but I'm a little bit late getting it to you. Uh, it was put out on August 13th um, at 8.08 uh, Pacific Standard Time Zone. Okay, it goes on to read, okay, Nene Leaks is a busy woman these days, and she'll be returning, or she, be, she is being featured in a TV show. The new season for Hip Hop Square starts today. At 8 o'clock p.m., check out her post below. Yep, your girl is hanging out in the square this season. Okay, catch me on not one, but six episodes. Okay, I even take I even take the center square. I'm going to be turned up. Oh, they're featuring her as in the center square as, I don't know. You know, they position the people on the panel when they're doing the show, and I, I don't know, whether you was that, it's kind of like the Brady Bunch, little squares they had when they introduced the show, when it come on, they set up like that, but just Google it, you'll find it, uh, I never really, wa I watched Hollywood Squares, but I don't watch a lot of TV anyway, so she would probably never catch me uh, watching the show, unless I was really being bored one day, and I was just happy to be up, or at home, and I'm gonna tune in to her but uh yep she's uh very excited about that um it says the new season of hip hop square starts tomorrow at 8 p.m on vh1 tune in for the fun nene captured her post fans and followers are praising her nene's latest move and they're gushing over her in her comments people were really curious what she's been up to these days and she made sure to tell them Okay, I guess they're in her Instagram account and they're either shading her, getting on her, or they pretty much giving her her accolades of uh, being proud of her successes. Okay, and the bag being secured. All right. It ain't like it's a Brinks truck she loading up. You know what I'm saying? Like some real heavy hitters. But hey, I ain't hating on her. Get your money where you get it, girl. All right. Someone in the comments said she works in silence while all y'all continue to be bitter and hate. HBIC, the thread, and then the little emojis with the little fire. Okay, other commenters posted book and busy. Meanwhile, the rest of the girls are hanging out and posting pics every other day. All of a sudden, ain't never posted this many pics before. But, you know, they got to prove they really are uh, friends to the world. Okay, a follower also posted, oh, look, who's continues to get the bag and stay booked. Congrats. This looks great. Um, I'm thinking they're saying HBIC is head bitch in charge. Uh, she winning, booked and busy. A person wrote, God bless you, Nene, and don't let the others get in a bad place. Ignore them girls. And another commenter said, someone else said, girl, I love you and your style. I will support you and can't wait to see you. Congratulations. And another one was said a follower posted Nene Leaks and they gave the dollar signs emojis with the tongue sticking out with the dollar signs. We can see why they're upset and bitter. You're the it girl and they can't deal. Yes, Nene has recently had a photo featuring herself which she captured with some interesting affirmations. Nene wrote a special message on social media addressing the people who wronged her. Okay, Nene, so you were doing fine. And this person was doing very well with the article written, very well written article, very appreciative for the information. But Nene, uh, let's play the victim or play the head bitch in charge. We don't want to see you or hell, I don't want to see you being 
played as a victim, okay, or whining. That just don't suit you at all. And the crime spells and all this stuff. So be the head bitch in charge, okay? Keep the ladies focused on getting that bag and catching up with you. That's what I want to continue to see. That's what I think you're paid to do. But all this whining and crying and talking about support me, support me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear because that's not even really your personality. That's not the motif you're giving me. Girl, you get in there, you get the work done, and you love to toot your own horn about all the successes you have made out here. Let's just keep it real, okay? But I'm very proud of Nene. Go on and continue to get your bag, continue to act and portray however you want to be seen on these streets or in public as long as your bank account is looking good your bills are being paid on time and you're kind of uh you can kind of be out there and live leisurely and waste as much money as you want to and it's not missed okay and as far as the other cats candy's out there doing excellent things you know she has her can what do you call it candy bedroom uh party favorites with the sex scenes and stuff of that nature and she you know she has her foundation so everything's good in the hood with her uh kenya you know she's exposing her baby here there and everywhere i'm tired of seeing baby brooklyn i love her she's she's very pretty she's gonna grow hopefully into a wonderful beautiful an adult who's intelligent you know and, and can go and get that bag legally like her mom but I, I just i want to see kenya doing a lot more i want to show i don't i'm tired of seeing her as a mother okay we got the point you you know you got your husband you got your baby but let's see some other endeavors you got going on you, you got this um uh we call it hair products line let's see a lot more of that let's see you giving back to community let's 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 get on with that okay not that because anybody can have a baby out there and they can exploit them put pictures of them and all this that and the fuck uh, I'm tired of seeing that from you and Portia, okay? And then Portia's sitting up here talking about she's been having a baby with Dennis McKinley over there and plastering on social media and this, that, and the third. So we got to do a story on her later on because I'm just not understanding. But then again, it's not for me to understand. I'm not in her household. She's not taking care of me, not one bit. But sometimes when they break out these social media newsworthy, they call stories. I have an opinion and I must put it on my YouTube platform and see if anybody can have a discussion with me back about what's going on in this foolish world with these people acting the way they acting and then they don't want nobody to say them, but you don't put it on front street, okay, for everybody to partake of and be able to, to blast an opinion here and there, okay? But that's all I have for Celebrity Insider. Wonderful article they read up on Nene Leakes still securing that bag. Still considered the head bitch in charge and still making groundwork for the other ladies to catch up with her. <laughs> okay? But isn't that what an OG is supposed to do? Set the standard, set the pace, and watch everything fall into place? Is that not what an OG is supposed to be doing? Now, okay. I can say good video today for Nene Lee. Didn't have her on any backlash or anything bad to say about her. I'm just, you know, I give you a props when you sitting up there showing me stuff to kind of motivate me to do something or any other individual. That's good. That's right. But you got to understand the lane that you're trying to be in, okay? I'm not trying to be in the entertainment field. It's just a platform that I do have that I can come and talk to you all about certain social media um, blog stories that are out there. And I have, a, you know, I have a will and a want and a desire to express my opinion. That's why I'm here. I encourage other people, if you don't like what I say or how I spin a story, you think you can do better, please get your own YouTube channel and then I can sit and critique you. That's all I'm saying. Just really keeping it real. But y'all, that's all I had on this story. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll be back with another video. But right now, I got to go check out my girl, S. Hutchison. Now, she's supposed to be doing a live on hypocrisy. And you know, I like a good story here and there and everywhere. All right, I'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.